Welcome back, everybody. This is your Captain Mog here, playing some more Project Zomboid, going to episode number 150 again uh, this time. We are joined with our guest, Blind Scholar. Would you like to uh, say hello, buddy? Hello. Uh, welcome, everyone. I'll be your co-pilot today. Uh, back once again to play a little bit of Project Zomboid. I think we're going to continue along this road. Yes, we are. We are heading up still on our way toward West Points. Uh, we just left one of the little stopping areas with some mobile homes in the last episode. And uh, this time we're continuing our way up the highway, trying to get to our destination and trying to get ourselves fed this morning, uh, our morning, at least start the episode in the game, and uh, get fed, because it looks like uh, Earl, uh, Earl Torres here is getting a little hungry. I mean, it does happen, especially if you're running along the road for long periods of time. Yeah. So, yeah, what are we eating? We're eating some canned beans, I think, is what we just popped open. Getting us up into that green, uh, well-fed state should give us a little strength bonus and uh, allow us to move a little bit quicker and, of course, heal if we get hurt. Dude, that's got to be real rough. Like, your meal is a cold can of beans. Cold can of beans. You're not even stopping. You have to, like, keep walking when you're I had eating to stop. it. I had to stop there for uh, opening the can, but yeah. Walking on the... Eating on the walk. <laughs> it's, it's a tough life. It's a Project tough life. You can, I know, cook a lot of these meals, though, if you do have access to, like, a stove or a campfire, or uh, if you have propane for a barbecue outside of some of the homes. You can cook them up, and uh, if you have pots and pans, that is, you usually get a better return on your uh, food. It, it cures more hunger, so it's quite useful. That's good. And it probably also uh, cures depression, because you really have to take a stern look at your life when you're eating cold beans from a can while walking. I, I do believe you are correct. I believe that does actually either it it cures some depression negative, or we're going to break that glass and go ahead and remove it so you can just climb in. I didn't see any zombies or any other gateway in. I think that breaking windows should cure a little depression because I think that cheers everyone up. <laughs> just yeah, broken window. <laughs> and it looks like we're finding some good non-perishables here. Some chips, nice light, uh, non-very. It's not very heavy food items. You can carry it with you quite easily. The orange soda we're going to take because uh, it because is a it's good... orange fucking it's soda. It's orange fucking soda. <laughs> and, of course, it cures thirst, but it also cures a little bit of hunger. And you're left with an empty bottle you can fill up for water if you want. That's nice. And we just saw some gasoline and charcoal in that container there. You see that? Oh, we're going to have a barbecue. Use, uh, you could take that charcoal. It's like a five-pound item, a little heavier. You could take that to some of the barbecues around in the game and actually use that to cook, too, if you if you needed fuel. And I think you can do the same thing with gasoline. You can use, also use that to run generators to power electricity for a home if I you think, find a generator. I think if I ever played this game, I would do like a campaign yeah. my character for like um, extreme barbecuing. Like, uh, like extreme I would, barbecue. Like I would try to find this week. Like really intense barbecue setups in parks that are just like swarmed by zombies, and I would like you know bring my meats and my charcoals out and yeah, just yeah. try it to see if I can make myself a nice gourmet. Without burning it. Without, yeah, without burning or anything and without dying, without being, like, swarmed by You know, that can zombies. make for an interesting challenge or an interesting, like, show. Like, you can do, like, a quick, like, cooking with blind skull. <laughs> Extreme <laughs> barbecue. Today we're going to try to cook a steak in the red zone. <laughs> we're going in deep today, guys. Let's cook up some of the salmon we caught in the last episode on our Fishing with Frank, for whatever character you name, you know, Fishing with whoever, but that'd be fun, I think. That, that might be, be that something. Could, that could be an idea. It could, could be, an be idea. A, throw that one into the hat. Uh, uh, you you can trademark that one if you like. Uh, the the whole thing, the watermark and everything. <laughs> yeah, just put your watermark on it. Put it on your channel. Though you're not really doing much on the channel these days, right? I don't need some yeah, I really don't. stuff in, the, in, in a while back, but uh, a well, while back that was that was in 2010. <laughs> that was good. I like that episode. Well, it looks like our doors are locked here at the closed shop. I don't know if we're going to find anything here. What I'm really hoping for at this point, since our character is getting tired, uh, you can see it up in the noodles there in the top, top right corner, uh, is I'm trying to find him a bed or a chair he can sleep in for the night. Get, get him some rest so he can run a little fast. Right now we're just going to get very winded very quickly. Well, yeah, I don't know. Where are you at? A department store? What is this? Place? It's it's. I'm hoping there might be an office in here somewhere. This is just a little clothing store, and I, I'm, I'm hoping maybe we can find a way inside. But it looks like we've got some zombie action out here. Swing at you, lady. Knock you right down with that axe swing and stomp your face in. <laughs> nice little chunks there. Come <laughs> here, biatch. Boom. That's disrespectful. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's zombies. Oh, Just man, the that, tree there. That that clicking. That uh, wet explosion is just it's real nice. Well, I can't even do it. My mouth's so dry right now. 
or you just stomp in their in their gourd. Are these doors? Are these all going to be windows? I don't know if we're going to... We can't open these type of windows, the solid window. There has to be a break in it. Screw it. We're just going to break these windows. Make it. There you go. Let's climb on through that open window now. Oh, is that orange soda over there? You know, it is. It looks like <laughs> orange soda to me. Is there going to be any on the shelf, though? That's the big question, I suppose. I'm trying to see if there's anything around here. It's just nails on these clothing racks? That's weird. A little strange. I mean, it's... You think you'd actually into. find like like actual clothing, but nails on these clothes racks. I guess it is what it is. That's just a bathroom. That's definitely not an office with a chair. Because that's what I'm hoping for. We need to find this character some I'm, rest. I'm hoping for a fun situation or something. Yeah. Something to come out. I don't know. If we could find ourselves maybe like a shotgun and some shells, we could probably have some fun with some zombies out front. But we would make such a big horde following us. I mean, you, you do what you can, and sometimes you just really need a bunch it's to true. follow you around a bit. It is kind of fun. Um, I You can get a uh, varmint rifle or a uh, hunting rifle, and you can equip like different scopes and stuff to them. And you can like hit zombies from like pretty far off your if, off your view, so you can just like peck zombies off like in the woods and stuff, and be like hiding from them. It's kind of fun. But uh, the shotgun's great for getting a horde around you. I've died a, many a time doing that. <laughs> They just get around you, and you don't see one come up from behind you, and they grapple you, and they slow you down, and then all the rest of them just catch up with you. You might say that those kind of weapons are almost more dangerous. Truly. It's kind of a downside to that. <laughs> just all the noise that they make. Come here, ladies. Can we sneak well, up I've, on like, I've seen people use guns in this game, and I, I think that <gasps> in a lot of games, guns make you feel empowered, but I, I feel like the guns are not... They're not game ending in this. Yeah, they're not. Like at this point of the game, like they are, they're a lot of trouble to use. You don't want to use them anywhere near your home or your safe house because you'll just attract zombies from everywhere around. So you want to only really use them when you're out and about, and then they're heavy, so you have to take that into account. It's a pain. That's why I usually roll with an axe or other melee weapon. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. This axe is really doing work. It truly is. Unfortunately, you can see up in the top left corner there, the axe equipped, you know, the big uh, circle. Yeah. There's that star on the left-hand side of it that you can see is partially blacked out. Uh -huh. it, uh, that means our durability is down about half. All right. I think at this point, or it's getting close. It's unfortunate. They don't last forever. You can repair them if you find things like duct tape or wood glue. You can use those items to repair your weapons back up to capacity. But you only repair them every so often. Eventually, they'll uh, they'll just deteriorate too quickly, and you won't be getting enough returns on your repairs. It just does less and less repair. It sucks. Well, I mean, yeah, that that is unfortunate. But I imagine that axes are probably not the rarest things. They're not. You do find them occasionally. And if you really got desperate for chopping down wood, you can make an axe from stuff you can forage it for in the woods. Hmm. Sticks. Uh, if you find a tree branch and a sharp stone, I think, or something along that chipped stone. And I think if you have that, you can combine them into a uh, into a, a makeshift axe. You can also make a hammer. Mm -hmm. So you really, really got desperate. Peanut butter. Found ourselves some good canned food here. Looks like this should last us, but we don't have much storage capacity. We have capacity in our bag. Now we're going to start moving things into our main mm -hmm. inventory, just held inventory. You know what's super nice about this is not only do you have all these cans of food, but you actually had a can opener in there. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know if you had one, but if you didn't, like, I could just imagine how it, frustrating it, it would be to find, like, this cornucopia of food and not have a can opener. Yeah. So, you see what I did there with the can of beans? Since I had an empty bowl, I was able to pour it into a bowl of beans, and that's less depressing, so you take less of a hit on your happiness when you're eating it. I think it there gives you, you actually a positive return. See, so just Earl, what you're talking about. see Earl, you're just moving up in the world. He's like, figuring I've, things out. You, like, you used to have to walk around and eat cans of beans... Now you can, like, kind of just stand in the corner of a restaurant and eat out of a bowl. You're making it, man. You're Truly. Making... <laughs> He's really stepping up in the world. Moving on up, moving on up to the side. Oh, yeah. To a deer up to a in the sky. sky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what's up. Yeah, you do. Yeah. So let's, uh, we looted that place. Unfortunately, it looks like we can't sleep in those chairs. I guess that's not a thing at this point. Most chairs you should be able to sleep in, but those ones, I guess, is not going to let us. So we're going to keep pushing on, uh, trying to find ourselves the next path onto West, uh, Westwood here. 
Or West Point, not Westwood. What am I thinking? I'm thinking you're, HBO shows and shit. No, you're thinking of Command and Conquer. I'm thinking Command and Conquer days. Oh, Westwood. Oh, my God. I yeah, right? That. Yeah. I miss that. Oh, man. Uh, you remember Red Alert 2. I remember Red Alert 2. That's for certain. Oh, my gosh. And the expansion years are binge. I can't you, tell you. You were a prick when we fought <laughs> Mr. Mind Control. I uh, took a lot of joy out of the just sick tactics that you could employ with that, uh, that yeah. faction. Yeah. I had a good time. You know, I had fun. I had a great time. That's all that mattered to me. That's fair. <laughs> I did like our, our, our uh, three uh, three people going head to head with me, you and David. That, those were good times. We, uh, we did work. It was fun. It got intense. Those were good matches. Yeah. I'd like to play some more RTSs one of these days. In fact, we might it might be something we end up putting on the channel, I suppose, if that ever becomes a thing. Uh, if well, I mean, you RTSs did do Banner Saga. Like. I did do Banner Saga. I mean, Banner I guess wait, that's not an RTS. Though. It's, that's, it's that's yeah, turn-based turn -based strategy. Close, similar, I guess, in some respects. I mean, there's lots of... I did like going. that, and there's the new one coming out soon. The new Banner Saga 2 is coming out soon. Ooh. It looks good. Not the promo. It looks um, good. <laughs> Dude, but yeah, there's a... Uh, I don't know which all are on Steam, but there is definitely some Command & Conquer games on Steam. Yeah, I got a few. I think I've got Command & Conquer 4 on my Steam account. Um, uh, I've also got you should Planetary Annihilation's Titan, Titans. That Planetary could be fun. Uh, I would Titan. maybe read some stuff on Command & Conquer 4 before you before you dedicate a Let's Play to it. But, I mean, that's fair. That's probably what i do. Definitely play it out just, see how it goes. God, there are so many zombies along this highway. I just cannot sneak by them successfully. And we were getting tired, so I really just don't want to, to really fight. Uh, well, I don't blame you. You're just powerful. like you're you're pretty beside yourself with. Uh, I think Josh and I imagine you'd probably just like. He wants sleep. I've been popping these vitamins because they help with uh, re reducing your fatigue, but they don't help that much. They just kind of just prolong the inevitable. And uh, we definitely need to find our place, you... ourselves a place. And I don't think we're gonna find one until we get to Westwood or West Point. God, Can West you... <laughs> <laughs> uh, they'll come back. No, they won't. Um, is there like a, is there like coffee in this game? Is there like there, stuff? There is coffee and there is tea. I do not have a mug though. I do have sugar and I do believe I also have tea bags. You and do coffee. actually. Yes, I, um, I do not have a mug on me, but if you do, if I do find one, that is something we can do that does help with with that as well. It lowers fatigue a decent amount, actually, as far as I recall. I really haven't made no, that much of it. it you know, to be fair, you know what? Me. To be fair, Earl, you can drink coffee out of a bowl. You should I just mean, come on, Earl. You don't need a damn mug, Earl. Get your shit together, Earl. This is this is the apocalypse, Earl. Drink coffee out of anything. If you have to cup your hands and burn Oh, Jesus. Them. I was going to try to sneak past that zombie right there. I'm sorry to catch you off. That one almost snuck up behind me. I guess we're booking it a little bit. Put a little distance between us. But yeah, he could just man up a little bit and drink some coffee out of a, out of a bowl. Anything, think. a water bottle would be fine. Yeah, man, just shake it up. That'd be easy. <laughs> just be, it's cowboy coffee. It's all gritty and shit. But you could do it. I wish this game had that kind of variety to its crafting system. That'd be cool. Treat it as just like a normal liquid and just put it in any container. That'd be nice. So many zombies are, are looking at us at this point. I think we've got four or five zombies that are looking directly at us and have tracking ever, toward us. Have you ever thought of just trying to act natural? Just just chilling and walking along? I mean, you got your you got your axe cocked. I just feel like people so, are kind of checking you out because of it. It is kind of weird, but this is how you sneak. This is sneak mode. I'm holding down control. You go into the very slow walking, but it also readies your weapon. That's, it's kind of weird, but yeah. That's why I do it. You can't do it. Oh! Around. Oh my god. <laughs> that was that was pretty close. Yeah, that was quite close. That was a good... Really, she just jumped right you out. You gotta watch the trees. Kidding. You might think the forest is nice and quiet, but it's not. There's... It's not, especially along here. I was trying to cut through and break the line of sight, but I was a little wary or weary, wary, it's wary a, of the fact yes, that, wary. I, that there could be your character is weary. He is quite weary, and we are we are trying to be wary because of his <laughs> weariness. Damn it! Um, Don't you doctor Seuss out on me? <laughs> oh shit! Jesus! Fast zombie coming right at us. That's the another thing too. Late at night like this, like two almost three in the morning a.m. for our character time. Uh, zombies do tend to get faster and stronger. So they can chase you a little quicker than they would in the daytime. And we are getting very exhausted and panicked, which lowers our aim chance, so a uh, chance to actually hit when you're swinging at something. It's kind of shitty, but it happens. But it looks like we're putting some good distance between us and some zombies here, but we have so much further to go on this highway. Um, 
uh, I, we're not gonna make it. It's 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 ridiculous, and I think probably. <sighs> Yeah, we should probably just call it here, guys. It's, thank you so much for watching. This yeah, has been your Captain is, Mog speaking. This has been a really shitty episode, and I'd like to apologize. <laughs> but, uh, no, I think... Oh! Oh! Oh, look at that! More zombie encounters. Just brained that one down. <laughs> Didn't kill her, though. Finished her down. You know what? I, I'm gonna say it. Earl Torres has got a little bit of fight in him. He's got a bit of fight in him for how tired he is. I, got, I do gotta admit, he's putting oh. down some zombie trash. He's taking out the trash. You know what? He's so tired that he's... I was gonna say he just became a little panicked, but he's like not even scared anymore. He's like, you he's know like what? Done. I okay. just really need to bed, and I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to get some sleep. That's true. Oh, shoving that one off that almost got a hand on us. Get down, lady, dude. <laughs> There's the lady. Finish her off. No, I wasn't a single swing. It sounded like it. Good crunch. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been your Captain Mog speaking, and of course, join with our good friend Blind Scholar. Would you like to say anything to the wonderful folks out there? Um, I wouldn't, actually. I don't, I don't want to say anything to them. Fine, I can understand that that perspective. No, 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 no. Thank you for watching. Uh, a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day, guys. If, if you liked what you saw or learned something new about Project Zomboid, consider hitting that like button. Give me that feedback. I really do appreciate that. And, uh, of course, if you want to ask me any questions, myself, you can even ask Blind Scholar a question. He might be able to respond. Who knows? Uh, down in that comment section down below. Or if you got any questions about the game, drop them down there. I try to answer everything that we get. And of course, if you want to keep getting my video stream straight to your YouTube homepage when you log in, hit that subscribe button and join the Mog Squad today. We will see you next time, hopefully as we're coming into West Point. Until then, cheers. Peace.